Okay guys, I am going to try to do this review. I'm having a little trouble with the recorder since I have set it up on a new computer. Um, I have done this before when I recorded from my other computer. And I realized as I recorded this, not only was the quality so horrible that you couldn't even see it, really. You couldn't even make out what the words were. But you could not hear me. So I think I've got it set up now. And on the other re ebook reviews, I just noticed I never really looked at the quality. And I'm sorry about that. It was mostly a picture one. So I'm going to try this the best I can. Alright, this is a Photoshop, the Ultimate Beginner Guides to Learning to Mastering Adobe Photoshop in One Week by John Slavia. <clears throat> and it's an ebook. And as some of you know, some of my close friends know, and some people that are on my personal Facebook know, I do a lot of digital art. Well, I used to. Lately, I have not been doing it. It just depends on my mood. Um, I do digital drawing. Sometimes I will do, um, I don't know what the word is. I call it editing, where some gamers will send me a photo, and I do some drawing on it, and fix up spots and stuff, kind of alter the photos for them, and it just depends on what they pay for, exactly what they want, um, but I enjoy doing Photoshop, I've been using Photoshop uh, since 2009, and literally it was probably about three or four years ago that I really, really started getting into it with using graphics tablets and stuff. I did dabble with it some with photo editing whenever I was doing photography but yeah and I've even had a few videos I've done on YouTube not on this channel but of like sped up versions of some of my work. Um, not that great yet but hey <laughs> I enjoy doing it. It's something kind of like a pastime. Sometimes I earn a little money sometimes I don't. But I really wish I had had something like this when I started out using Photoshop because it has taken me years and there's still things about Photoshop that I don't even know. So if you are getting into Photoshop, you should get this because there are a few things in here that I didn't already know. Most of it I already knew, but I wanted to review it because I have a lot of friends um, who are into the digital art and just getting started and they ask me questions and stuff. And so I'm going to start recommending this book for them. It's just so much easier. So here, you know, instead of me trying to show them, because sometimes that is pretty time consuming for me to try to show someone how to do different things of Photoshop. So this is an ebook. And I'm not going to go through every single part of the ebook because if I did that, then you get to sit here and read the ebook. All you have to do is just pause it and all that stuff. And you know, I don't think the person who wrote it would like that too much. <laughs> so I'm going to skip through a few of the things. I wish it would just let me. This is my first time using this. Normally, you can use it on the Kindle. Um, you can get it on Kindle for from Amazon for $4.99. If you do want it in a hardback, I'm not sure if they still have them in uh, for sale in hardback, but they're $17.99, I believe. Yeah, I wrote it down somewhere. But, oh, excuse me. But it's really neat to have something like this. When it comes to anything computer-wise, I prefer ebooks. You guys know me mostly old-fashioned. If I'm in my kitchen, I want an actual cookbook and stuff like that. I do like to have it. But when it comes to things about my computer or computer programs, I want an ebook because most times, like now, I'm using it on my computer. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna give, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys. This is the cover of it right here, and it's only 85 pages, so it's not like you got a whole ton to look at. It's gonna tell you an introduction, different versions of Photoshop, and there are several different versions. I use Photoshop CS5, but I have tried a few versions. Everybody is particular to their own, own version of Photoshop. So, like, some people may like the brand newer versions. I personally don't. I like to go back, mainly because I don't know some things about the newer version or something. You know, you get stuck in a rut where you like certain ones. And some people don't. Some people like to go back and forth. Some There's CS versions. There's CC versions. It just depends. So this is, this little part right here will tell you about that. Then there's getting started 
with Photoshop. That's going to be, I'm going to go to that one here in just a second. It's basically just getting you set up with a few things. There's the toolbar. It's going to tell you all about the toolbar, the operations bar, um, the options, not operations. I was reading that. <laughs> I have not had coffee today. Then there's the basic operations, layers in Photoshop. That one's going to be one I'm going to go to because I love layering. And when I first started using Photoshop for my drawings and stuff, I did not layer. And even if you're editing a photo or anything, you want to layer because if you mess up, you can just go and delete that layer and it's a lot easier than sitting here having to do, like, go back and start over which I don't use as many layers as I did when I first started using layers because I would have like a hundred layers on an art project but it just depends I mean these are really good too if you want to make up business signs and stuff layering is wonderful you can move things around and stuff and yeah I'll get back to that because I will go on for that <laughs> then working with images and shortcuts to Photoshop in conclusion so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the getting started with Photoshop and it just gives you there's not a lot of pictures with that but then you do have this and it will tell you where the section selection tools are the options bar the menu bar um, you hear my dog walking color and swatches panel menu layers and channel panels panel options navigation tools then tells you a bunch of, bunch of tools it took me forever to learn these things I didn't know what half of these things are um, I just did not. Um, cause like for the longest time, I didn't realize you could switch to a pencil. And I'm like, what do I need a pencil for? And now I use pencil a lot on some other projects that I do. That one is not for my art stuff. That's for some gaming stuff that I do. But it gives you a little bit on that. And I'm gonna go through a flippy flip fast through there, so you guys can't really read it. <laughs> But as you can tell, it, I'm going to flip through it fast. Like I said, I don't want you guys, you know, going back, hey, skipping out on buying this book because it is really good to have. But here's about layering. And then as you can tell, like you will start with the background, then you've got the sky, and then you've got the different layers. And um, I should have pulled up some Photoshop and stuff and kind of give you a little bit look on that. Maybe I should do some little lessons in Photoshop one day, but I just don't have time for that. And that's why I suggest the book. Because sometimes watching the videos does not always help. And reading this does help because it gives you a little bit more. Like, I didn't know anything about this stuff right here. The adju adjustments and layers. I never knew any of this. So this is very helpful for me. And I'm just going to flip through here. Oh, and I love how that, I want to go back to this real quick. This, I did not know how to use this for a couple of years, and that's really great. And I'm not going to tell you about it, because you got to have to go get the book to find out yourself. But it does have some pictures and stuff. It doesn't have a whole ton. Um, but like in certain sections, I do like that, because it has pictures to kind of give you an idea and that's really really great uh, I guess I was meaning to go with work with images but yeah this is going to give you something all kinds of different little things um, levels is what that was levels I did not know anything about levels and levels are very very helpful when you're editing or making pictures it just this is really great if you want to really learn Photoshop without having to spend all the years that I have to learn just the things that I've learned and there's still stuff in here that I haven't learned you can learn it in a week you could probably learn it in a day I mean of course you got to play around with it and the nice thing is it's an ebook you can put it right on your computer come look over here flip to it go to your um, Photoshop try it out on there test it out and I do love Photoshop tutorials in in video or in reading in ebooks and so I really like this one and I've looked at a lot of tutorials and stuff like that and this is something that I'm going to keep using because it's never too late to go back and learn a little bit more like I when I've used levels I've basically just used this stuff and used this stuff and I didn't know about using this I didn't know about using that I didn't know about using this so like I'm saying there's a lot of stuff in here that I didn't even know 
All right. Again, this ebook is on Amazon for $4.99 if you want to get it on your Kindle. Um, or you can actually get it on your computer if there is a way to do it. I did it with one ebook and I've already forgotten how. But you can always contact the seller and if you want to and try to do it in a different way. I'm sure they're very helpful with that. The seller has been very nice to talk with me. And um, like I said, it's $17.99 if you want the book. Like, I don't know for sure if the book's available right now. I didn't check that. I just saw that when I was trying to jot down some information before I started my video review. I did receive this ebook for free for my complete and unbiased and honest review and I wanted to do this one because I know how horrible it is to sit there and spend a long time trying to understand Photoshop and if you don't understand it a lot of people will give up. I did and I luckily had friends who would show me but some people just literally, oh, I hate Photoshop. I'm done with Photoshop. And I have a lot of friends that are like that. And I'm like, trust me, once you get the hang of Photoshop, you will love it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this review, guys. I will leave you the link down below. And like I said, if you want it for your computer, I do believe there is a way to have it on your computer from if you buy it for your Kindle. I just don't know off the top of my head. I got mine in a different way where I can put it on my computer. You'll just have to, because I got it directly from the seller. But you can contact the seller and they may be able to explain to you exactly how to do that. Or you could possibly even contact Amazon on that one. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I know this is longer than most videos, but I love Photoshop. I really do. And if you have hated Photoshop, definitely go get this and try again. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.